Hey everyone, it's Mike from Crimson Omen Pictures, back today to show you my biggest movie haul of all time. I, a few days ago, I purchased a total of 19 movies in one day. This was a good day. Um, I purchased uh, quite, a few, quite a few goodies. Um, 18 of these movies are movies that I haven't owned, so just one of them is a double dip. And uh, you'll see why it was a double dip when I show you. So let's get started with the Steelbooks. First, we have Cloverfield, the limited Steelbook. Uh, wow, best Steelbook I have ever seen. Just so beautiful. And since I do have a 10 minute window here, I'm not going to go too in depth with these. So if you want to see, these in depth, just leave a comment below if of the ones that you want to see me go into further detail. So there's Cloverfield. Then we have Die Hard. Die Hard 2, Die Harder. Die Hard with a Vengeance. I Am Legend. Actually then, 17 of these are new. I already have the I Am Legend box set, but anyway, I Am Legend. Very cool. The Incredible Hulk. Very cool steelbook. And this is another double dip. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. Um, I flipped when I saw this because I have yet to find any of these. And I found these at the pawn shop. And just love, love this steelbook. And Transformers, the Decepticon edition. Very cool. And then for the Christopher Nolan update, I have the Prestige on Blu-ray. Very cool. I love this movie. And then his Christopher Nolan's first film, Following. I have yet to see this, but I have heard nothing but good things about this film. Very nice, shiny cover. As you see, very highly metallic. And then another Blu-ray, The Untouchables. This movie is great. Definitely worth it. The only complaint I have about this is the fact that the sound on this is not HD sound. The highest sound it goes is 6.1 DTS, but it's not HD audio. But still sounds great. The picture is outstanding. Um, definitely one of the better Blu-ray transfers I've seen picture-wise. So definitely pick this up. I found this for 16 bucks at... Uh, at Superstore. Really good price. And then next we have The Rundown. Uh, this movie is actually one of my favorite action movies. Um, it's got The Rock and Sean William Scott, of course. Um, it's been years since I've seen this movie, so I saw this for seven bucks at Superstore, and I really, really, really enjoyed this film when I saw it, so I decided to pick it up. So there's The Rundown. And then this one of my favorite pickups, the George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead. This is the 40th anniversary edition, two disc. Just look at that cover, shiny red writing. And I'm actually going to open this one, open this one up and show you guys, just because I fucking love this edition. And it is one of those clip cases. go. Still got the flyer in there. There's the disc. Very, very cool. And next is my favorite uh, Kevin Spacey film, K-Pax. I really enjoyed this movie. One of those movies that keeps you guessing the whole way through. If you have not seen this movie, buy it. It is worth it. And then we have Fright Night. I love this movie. I'm looking forward to the remake. I'm looking forward to see uh, how the remake does. Um, but this one, one of the best vampire movies I think ever made. It's really, really nice. And then my favorite Eddie Murphy movie, Coming to America. I love this film. This was actually one of the first Eddie Murphy films I saw. Uh, I was a 
I was a young guy and I saw this and I just loved it. Really cool. And next, Catch Me If You Can. This is my favorite Leonardo DiCaprio film. Um, just a great film, and I'm pretty sure this is a two disc. Yeah, it is. So there we go. It's got the nice recycle badge there. So there we go. And this, which is pretty cool. Apocalypse Now, the complete dossier, whatever that is. Really cool. It's kind of presented in a file format, and then the discs are in there. Um, I'll be doing a review on this later on, so I won't go into too much detail. And then the last film, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. This is the shirt and vest edition that I call it. Really, really cool. Really neat. It's got the Save Ferris pin there. And then underneath, it's just the, uh, the Bueller Bueller edition, so pretty bare bones. There's no additional features or anything. The only thing that's special about it is the slipcase. There we go. And then just the back cover that came with it. Alright, so there we have it. This is my massive movie haul. 19 movies. 17 of them, which I did not own. so you can see them. Very, very cool. Alright, thanks guys for watching. I hope to see you all next time.